Welcome to the Daily Devotional with Derek Nider. Thanks for joining us as he walks us through the pages of Scripture with a daily word of insight and encouragement. Hey, a little different uh, time together in the Word of God uh, today. We are in Nehemiah chapter 9, so you can turn there. I'm going to read in verse 5 at the end and then through verse 6, but a little different time today, and so let me pray for us, and then we'll get rolling. Father, thank you for this scripture, and we pray that you'd really guide us in our reading of your word today. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, this is a worship service, right? And so this is how uh, it goes. Um, the Bible says at the end of verse 5, Stand up and bless the Lord your God forever and ever. Blessed be your glorious name, which is exalted above all blessing and praise. You alone are the Lord. You have made heaven, the heaven of heavens with all their hosts, the earth and everything on it, the seas and all that is in them, and you preserve them all. The host of heaven worships you. Now, you're going to notice that that is not all the praise that's given to God. Uh, you're going to see that all the way down through verse 38, um, this expression of, of praise just rolls from God's people and from the leadership. I want to start with a statement give you a couple of points, and then give you some instruction, all right? You would worry less if you worshiped more. And, you know, let me just personalize it for all of us. We would worry less if we worshiped more. I mean, worship has so many um, positive effects on our lives. Of course, the most important thing is that it exalts God, and it puts Him in our hearts in the place that he deserves, right? So that, of course, is always the purpose of worship. Whether or not we feel like we get anything from it, whether we're on the top of the mountain or we're in the midst of the valley, uh, whether our life seems to be going perfectly or bombs are blowing up everywhere, God always des deserves to be worshiped. Um, but there's just one thing I, I want to say to you. You know, if your life is filled with stress and anxiety and worry, worship is probably part of the solution for you because instead of obsessing on things that you can't do anything about, if you would just spend that time in the worship of God, you would discover that worship really does liberate your soul. What we see here um, is just a pattern of worship, okay? And I want to give you some points and then give you some instruction as you read this. And this is your instruction today, okay? I want to encourage you, like Alec was talking about, slow read this section of Scripture. And there's only 32 or so verses here, so you can do this today. Um, slow read it and notice the progression, right? You, you start with worship. Uh, you have uh, God's calling on Abraham's life. You have an expression of the faithfulness of God. You have an expression of the failure of the children of Israel. And then you, at the very end, have this renewal of commitment. So it follows this pattern. It starts off with, with praise and exaltation. And then it identifies God's faithfulness and calling Abraham. And then all that he did for the nation of Israel. They're recounting, right? This is what we talked about. They're, they're owning, in a sense, the failure of the fathers. So they're recounting all the good that God has done, and then they're gonna identify the failure in the history of the children of Israel to respond the right way to God's faithfulness. And then what we're gonna see is at the very end, there's this, this renewal of commitment. This was a process they went through to get on track with God. And I think this is a really solid process for us to go through as well in our own lives. We're going to talk about that in an upcoming devotion. How we need that, that spiritual renewal. Sometimes we need to just pause and we need to reflect on our lives. We need to acknowledge the faithfulness of God. We need to acknowledge the areas that we have gone off track, where we failed. We need to bring that into um, a, a time of confession before Him. And then we need to renew our commitment. I want to encourage you to do that today. Read these verses. Slow read them. God will minister to you, and then at the very end, just follow that process, and in your quiet, personal, intimate moment with God, renew your commitment to Him. I do pray God blesses you in this. We hope this podcast has ministered to you. If it has, we welcome you to rate it or leave a review. If you would like to stay connected with Pastor Derek Nider or find many more teachings, please visit cclasvegas.org, click visit, and then choose Pastor Derek Nider. 
These links are also in this episode's description. Until next time, God bless you.